Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, sit down. Head to the other shed and get the snowmobile? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can outsmart these two. I can't hardly open my eyes, Isla. It's not even sunny right now, but it's coming from the top and the bottom with that snow. People have been asking in my other videos where Didge has been. When we're in the shop working in the winter time and it's, uh, and it's cold out, Anna likes to hang out with the humans. Didge likes to just run around and chase birds. That's kind of her deal. She has opted to ride with dad on his sled. I can't talk her into the 120 yet, but we're gonna keep working on it because she can handle it. Wouldn't be a problem. Got a new GoPro 9, so we'll see how that works. If you watch my other channel, the Millennial Farmer channel, you know I'm having troubles with trying to find the right camera. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on my helmet here. See how this thing does. You ready to be done for now? Yeah. Okay. I think Dad's gonna go get his face mask and he's gonna go out for a rip. What do you think? Apparently Isla had enough. That was long enough for her, so now it's Dad's turn to go for a rip. I actually raced sleds back in the day for about a year and a half. Snowcross. Dad ran cross country way back in the day. So there's supposed to be a rubber strap, I'm almost positive, that goes over top of this. And not bump into that can then. Over top of the battery cage here. And straps that battery down tight, but I seem to have misplaced it. I was worried for a minute it was a chain case because the brakes felt fine, but I don't think it's going to wreck anything for just a few miles here. You okay? Hey, you all right?
strap is in there. I'll see if I can fish it out without burning myself on the brake or the exhaust. There we go. There we go. She's bungeed down. Pretty sure that's all there is to it. Yeah, you want to go right now? Okay. I'll ride up there, meet you up there in a minute, okay? You want to go riding? Yeah, I don't know where my goggles are. Um, have you been using the little gray ones? Yeah. Isla used those, they're in the front entryway. You gonna drive the 120? Uh, no, I want you to hook the sled to the back of it. Oh, you want the sled, okay. Yeah. We are having a heat wave here lately. Kind of crazy. Just in the last day here, from one week to the next, we literally warmed up almost 70 degrees from almost 30 below to 30 some above at the moment. Didge found some birds in the tree behind you. You good? I flipped you right off before you even got to it. <laughs> don't go back there again. Okay. Or don't hit that jump again. Okay. Are you having fun? Yep. Good. A lot. Oh, flips you over the most? Yep. Hey, did. All right. The first time I flipped at the cockleboard bush, it was because the cockleboards were about to go like right across my face. You got loaded full of snow. I know. So this is Onyx's sled. I believe it's an O2 XCF 440 fan cool. So this was the race sled for the like the 14, 15 year olds 20 years ago back in the day. And we got some CNA skis to put on it. These are what I raced with back when I raced and this is what's on my 800 right now. And uh, we got some red ones here. They came with some uh, Woody's carbides to throw on it. He's got 96 studs on the back. So we got a little bit more of an aggressive carbide to put on it, but I didn't want to go too much because he's still pretty young and he, uh, he needs to do more push-ups before he can steer a, a ski like I've got on my 800. These are gonna work out good. You know what, it's uh, it's a Sunday afternoon. What do you think, Onyx? Those skis gonna work? Do they look like they're gonna work? Yep. These are probably gonna take a little bit of work to get off. So this bolt is really rusted inside there. Hand me this. There's no threads in there that we're fighting. It's just simply rusted through that uh, bottom spindle piece there. So I'm not messing around. We'll go to the other shed and get the, get the three quarter inch impact put on there. If it doesn't break it loose, it'll at least break it. Can you guys see me? Can you see anything? Big gun. Oh, oh God. 
got. Okay, and big sockets. No, the really big sockets. Don't touch that. It's relatively stuck. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now we just got one more. You think they're wider? Yeah. Let's see the bottoms of them. A little longer too. See this? Edge down on each side? Oh yeah. You put the car by down first. Yeah, probably. No, like, like when you see and look at it. I know. I changed it. Oh, that's just. His... No way. Everything's possible. Well, Onyx and I struggled for a while last night. We got the one ski on here. Uh, just took some prying to get it into place, but this one right here, I've pretty well completely destroyed this spindle bolt and it is stuck. It will not move. Three quarter inch impact, does not touch it. I have tried everything except for a torch and a cutoff wheel, but Rhiannon has gotten into basketball lately. So we ordered her a little uh, portable basketball hoop and we're gonna throw that together now. Oh, her basketball's in here. You got practice tonight too. What? You got practice tonight too. I know. Ooh, look at that. Even a backboard. That's how fancy of a hoop I ordered for you. Mm, I need a picture. Not directions, just a picture. Align the middle hole. I organize them by side. With the slot in the bottom hole. Middle hole and middle hole. Find the correct amount of the Okay, just all these. Oh, yes. And get all of my screws lined up. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm sure it'll never get messy again. Yeah, it will be messy by tomorrow. This way. Oh, the buzz, the buzz. It's pretty new. I mean, that's a bad chip dip. Bad chip dip? Yep, I do. I've eaten bad chip dip. I got the backboard support on here. I got to tighten up. I got to put the net, hoop, thingamajigger on the backboard. But Rhiannon, we got to go. I got to get Onyx to hockey and you got to go to basketball practice. Uh -huh. So we'll finish this up. I'll finish it tomorrow. It'll be done when you get home. Okay? Can you make a cool slam dunk? No thanks. No thanks. Oh. Ooh. Here. Almost. There you go. No. Ooh, that was a cool trick. The neck's super tight. It's barely even worn out. It'll loosen up. Is she chasing you? See what you got. 
Isla, do you want to end the video? Hang on. And say thanks for watching and then cover the camera? <laughs> do you want to? I will. Do you? I will. Your makeup is thanks beautiful. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.